Hey guys, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. I'm about to take a trip down fashion memory lane with Would You Wear It Now? This is hilarious. My mom dressed me for this, clearly. Um, it was the first time I'd ever been to the Kids Choice Awards and I was super excited. I was on Drake and Josh at the time and these pictures just crack me up because I look like I love myself so much like I just look so happy with myself and my outfit and obviously think I look so cool when I clearly do not I think I have a choker on I'm pretty sure which I guess that is pretty cool for an eight-year-old but the boots the whole thing oh I also I see I chose to keep my credential on because I'm pretty sure I thought that was awesome that I even had that and also, I think I've seen this picture before with a meme that says, when you're high in the McDonald's line. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's the one that goes with that meme. I remember that this outfit was by a brand called Da Nang. <laughs> and that being eight or nine, that was a really cool brand. <laughs> People thought that it was awesome. I just, I know I was really excited to be wearing this outfit and that just makes it even funnier. <laughs> I would have to say no, I wouldn't wear any of these items today. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> maybe I was gonna say maybe I'd wear a credential to try to do a, a throwback to this or something one day, just to be funny. Chokers are kind of in, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a choker. A rhinestone choker. The boots, I don't know. They're, they're cute in their own way, I guess. <laughs> this is worse to me, even. <laughs> My mom also totally helped me dress myself. I was going through a phase at this point where I would wear those, I can't remember what they were called, but they're these funny things, little twisty things that you put in your hair at night. And then when you wake up in the morning, you take them out and your hair is wavy. Cause my hair's always been really straight and I've always wanted curly hair. So I remember being really excited to wear my hair like that. I would say during this phase, I wasn't that opinionated. I kind of let my mom take the reins on what I wore to this. I do remember choosing the boots, which was a terrible idea. And my mom allowed me to do that probably because she wanted me to get to pick something, some part of the outfit. Yeah, it's tragic, but it's just the boots don't go with the rest of the outfit in any way. And then my hair is sort of like I was trying to go for a bohemian look, but the rest of it isn't bohemian. I don't know what's happening. I would not wear this look now. I was a little bit involved in developing Carly's look, but like I would go in and I would do fittings and stuff. And if I really didn't like something, the wardrobe lady was always really cool and she wouldn't make me wear anything I, I didn't like, but I also did not have very good style <laughs> at all. So I know that I loved boots. I went through, I'm still, I still love boots, but I went through a major boot phase when I was younger and I just wanted to put boots with everything. And I thought that it was a rocker <laughs> cool thing to do. That's my excuse for these crazy boots. And then also for some reason, I just feel like everybody on Nickelodeon and Disney back then on all the kids shows would just layer a bunch of different, like a t-shirt underneath a blouse with a jacket on top and it, they'd all be different prints and really loud and bright. I just feel like that was a thing back then. So as you can see, I definitely wore that look in all these pictures. I remember this was the first time I did an eye curly photo shoot where they let me wear heels. And I was super excited about that. I also remember loving this outfit and loving the belt and the necklace. The leggings are so crazy. It's just random cheetah leggings. It's wild. When we first started iCarly when I was 13, kids didn't have YouTube channels and we started off the show, one of our main ideas was we were gonna have a bunch of people send in videos to Carly's web show and we were gonna use real people's videos. So even though the character was putting the videos on her show, it was gonna be real people sending them in. But then the first season we tried to get videos from people and back then nobody had web shows and nobody was on YouTube. So we got like 10 videos and didn't have enough to pick from. And I even remember when they told me the idea by Carly, I didn't know what a web show was. I was thinking, what is this? Are people gonna understand what this is? And then maybe second, third season, a lot of people started making YouTube channels and we got way more submissions and it really became a thing. So when we first started off, I didn't have a whole lot of direction with my clothing, like looking at other influencers clothing or anything like that because there just weren't that many influencers. It's been really fun getting to play the character again. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little scared when we started for the first time when we were on set just because 
so many moments on set remind me of my childhood. I mean, even walking on the set itself and seeing it again for the first time, uh, it was really kind of emotional, which I didn't expect that much until I got there the first day and I was looking around and I started remembering all these things from being there before. We cried a lot during the finale, like eight years ago when we filmed it. And I truly didn't think we'd ever get to make the show again. So to get to do it again, it's just, I've been trying to really take it all in and just enjoy every second because it's something I never thought I was gonna get to do. Carly still definitely has a youthful vibe just because she still has her show and she still does the same creative wacky things on the show that she did before even though it's a more mature version. So a lot of the clothes that I wear, it's kind of like how I dress in real life now and I do get to work a lot more with the stylist for the show than I was able to when I was younger. Um, all my friends always send me this meme with all the different like sayings on it. I get different ones once a month that people create and then my friends find them on Twitter or I find them. And I've just always thought it was really funny and cool. So we decided to do an episode of the new iCarly revival where it's all about Carly turning into a meme accidentally and the meme sort of takes over her life and everybody's sending this meme to each other and people, her brother Spencer gets angry with her over the meme because he's in the background of the meme and he's sort of getting negative press for it. So it was just really fun doing this whole episode about that because I have had a lot of memes of myself in my life. Um, so it was kind of taken a little bit from my real life and then that's where recreating this came into play. Shout out Kiki Palmer, I love her. She's hilarious and so fun. Um, I am wearing an insane outfit. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. I think I just wanted to be very sparkly and pink, obviously, and kind of wanted to go all out for my 16th birthday. Also, I remember feeling very cool and happy with this outfit. I don't, I do not think I would wear it today for sure. It was all pink everything and very sparkly. At that moment in time, I was really into that. I think this was the first party I'd ever thrown in my whole life. And even though my mom helped me and people helped me put it together and everything, it was so fun to have a, like a big party with a lot of people for the first time, especially for my 16th birthday. And I got my license that year and everything. So it was a fun one. <laughs> this is my first time going to the MTV Music Awards. I presented with Justin Bieber this year and I was really excited. This dress is blinding. <laughs> The shimmery mirror effect is pretty wild. The shoes, the matching mirror shoes. Oh, and then also, that was, I didn't even notice that till just now, but I'm wearing an arm, like a bracelet up high on my arm. Maybe I could wear this in a different way now if I didn't have the shoes and quite as much mirrory stuff going on, but probably not. Yeah, <laughs> I think that this look was meant for 2009 and probably nowhere else. Oh yeah, I actually really liked this dress. It's Versace and I was so excited to wear something it's like so fancy. I would totally still wear this today. I also love the color red. I pierced my ears around this time for the first time and I got to wear earrings and this whole thing. I was just, I had a really good time that night. I was working with a stylist at this point. I feel like you can tell. tell. <laughs> like the other ones are just so bad and this one's pretty cute. I could not give up on the boots. <laughs> I still haven't completely given them up. But I like this outfit. I like the jacket. I would definitely wear it. The dress is cute. I don't think I'd wear the boots again, <laughs> but in the moment I loved them. I'm pretty sure this is one of the first times I ever performed live and I was really nervous. But, but yeah, I like this outfit. I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on this one. I loved Avril Lavigne and I loved Paramore and I think I really wanted to come off the tiniest bit edgy, which is hilarious because I cannot be less edgy. <laughs> but I think that's why I wanted to go with the leather jacket and the darker colors and the boots and everything because I just always felt so cool when I was dressed like that. I was always begging the stylist to put me in boots and put me in not as bright and sparkly stuff. I wanted to come off edgier. <laughs> I wore this not too long ago, I think maybe four or five years ago. Um, I would probably wear this again. I, I thought it was really pretty. I never had really worn longer dresses until like the last probably like six or seven years I started wearing them more. I felt like kind of elegant in this and it was a different look for me, something I had never tried before. Yeah, I love this outfit. I love anything aquarium fish themed and this was Versace, which is so cool. and. I loved it the second I saw it. It was actually the first outfit I tried on for 
the Kids Choice Awards. It was also fun because I got to go to the Kids Choice Awards for the first time in forever with Nathan and Jerry to talk about the new iCarly revival. And I just thought it was a fun, young, like upbeat outfit. I also got kind of lucky and it sort of matches the crazy colors in the background and the carpet. So yeah, and I did like a fun um, eye thing I had never done before. Some really like pretty turquoise eyeliner. So it was a fun day. Well, even though I would never wear this Denang ensemble from the very first look that you showed me from the first time I went to the Kids Choice Awards, I still love this picture and this outfit just because I love the memory and I do see this picture memed a lot and it just makes me laugh. So I'm gonna say that's one of my favorites for the memories and then probably the most recent picture as far as the outfits go. Um, that's probably my favorite look. Thank you guys for going down fashion memory lane with me and checking out all those crazy looks from my past. Let me know what your favorite looks are in the comments below or maybe your least favorite looks. Bye.